Welcome to the Pixelberry Choices Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about Chapter 6 of Queen Bee Book 2. And we pick things up from where we left off in the last chapter. We've been accused of doing drugs and the Dean has sent us an email to check on her about this issue. So the chapter starts as usual, the post from T or whatever is left of the T and this Bello Velvet, some user online on the TR who is ex minion is spreading rumors about our main character who started the rumor of our main character doing drugs and the person who actually writes on the T at the first they don't actually believe these rumors but they actually praise our main character and then we go to the Dean and the Dean is telling us to keep a low profile because there are literally media out there in Belvoir so this is out on the T but if you remember if you go back to book one chapter one Zoe when we first met when she was explaining us the T she said fools around here treat the T as CNN so there you go so it doesn't seem like it's just the T but also if media is coming to a Belvoir elite school to check on whether something an information a claim that was made on the T website that is actually a quote gossip website end quote and this is definitely something different but we sort of try to make reasons and some subtle arguments with the Dean but she's not ready to listen so we need to keep a low profile we go out and meet Zoe Zoe is furious on both this Bella Velvet and our professor but we see the media and we get to decide what to do we can either make out with Zoe or do something else to hide our identity from the media but then we will see posts coming on the T and now this time this Bello Velvet is going after Poppy and saying that Poppy is not a true Min Sinclair so all the identities about Poppy's real father that we uncovered in the last book so they're using all those dirts against Poppy so we know we need to team up against Poppy to take down this minion of X Then we go to the Zeta house, we talk with Poppy, we do some strategizing and also the Zetas help us and specifically one of the Zeta, she help us and she helps us with the outfit and a new hairstyle to sort of uh, keep us disguised against the media and any other person who is trying to find our main character after huge allegations about us using drugs. We go to the drinks place because Bello Velvet we came to know that there is a drink so probably whoever this user is they have used different user IDs since uh, a long time and it almost evolves around those Bello Velvet those words and this person has accused and most probably humiliated and destroyed a lot of people online so this person is literally like an online troll so we get this information we go to the cafeteria not actually the cafeteria but where people they serve drinks and we start asking people question poppy zoe and our main character even we get a little chance there that poppy was trying to flirt with someone who's called alex and try to get information out of him but we can step in and sort of poppy's uh, efforts were not working out so we chip in and we sort of get information out of that guy and we boost our rankings by the way in this chapter for the first time poppy changes from her black gothic chick outfit to her pink outfit and that was really interesting because that's the outfit poppy used throughout book one so that was really interesting to see i would say so the old poppy is back in the game and then what happens next we finally find this person this girl out and she looks like an older woman not like a student who would study in the college and then we spot her we listen to her backstory that a long time ago when she was a freshman poppy just became the queen bee and how this person was humiliated by poppy and even this person was trying to hit on a guy and poppy also stole that and threw coffee on this person's face and that literally sort of infuriated her and set her off because after that she even started picking grudges on anyone who would just even mumble or just even like breathe differently while walking and she turned into an online bully 
and she was thinking our main character after taking down Poppy will take her side but we just became popular and we just became like another Poppy and then everybody who were who fell victim to this person like I can only justify this one girl who while this um, Bella Velvet was getting humiliated by Poppy took a picture of her and sort of you know, made fun of her also that can only be justified why she will go after her even if it is justified why she will go after Poppy but going after different people who just cut her in line or just did something so silly for that they didn't even deserve to be trolled online like that or you know just uh, accusing them of fake things like she literally accused someone of getting married to a cardboard copy of Harry Styles and stuff so she went like too far and how she was projected I would say like a pathetic person who just takes all the revenges of things that happens offline online so that's that's how she was projected she was projected like an online troll and then we again get a picture of her with uh, like the face and like lots of things drawn around her eyes and like, the, the way we got pictures of Ohio and Michael and that nerd for the hit list because we have taken down now four minions of Poppy and few more to go uh, not Poppy of X and few more to go before we get to the cult leader which is X and now we also prove to some of the X supporters now also turn because people who were supporting X this person Bella Velvet was even against those people also they were she was just spreading hatred online about them everyone she's not sparing anyone so she became like a pathetic person I would say how she turned into this person like how Poppy acted toward her at first that was that kind of set her off I would say but after that what she did that was never the right thing and you know she just went crazy in that case but anyway after taking her down we go back to the pool house and we're just enjoying their poppy Zoe Celine comes in and Ford introduces Celine as um, his girlfriend and then poppy would tell us like look everyone was so attracted by Celine and that Celine could surf and stuff like that so poppy would try to set us off like you know Celine is trying to take your place so when Celine will come to greet us we would have the chance to be a bad girl or a good girl and I didn't see personally why we need to be a bad girl to Celine Celine was always kind to everyone and also to our main character and we can say like I have a lot to teach you and Celine takes it really well and she also says she would love to learn more and there could be a friendship so I chose the good girl route and this is super happy I didn't know what the writers tried to do with this scene over here like why the bad girl or good girl matter here because choosing bad girl would be like just be like being poppy in book one but anyway after that for the final stretch of the book we get a, a scene like we can either go to Zoe or poppy uh, of course I chose to go to poppy and then we have a little uh, kissing scene and from the kissing scene it would develop to poppy will um, invite us to a hot tub and you can either go with Poppy or Zoe and if you go with them I go with, went with Poppy and then we will have a hookup scene and the Poppy one I took it was quite intimidating like just how they started building this up I know a lot of people waiting for Poppy and this is a scene a hookup scene and you know Poppy is like our Poppy like there is skirmishes between Poppy and our main character so the skirmishes that builds into like a romance there I wouldn't call it a romance because it's just a hookup but the the way we enjoy each other's company and the chemistry you know like uh, the dynamic between Poppy and our main character the way it uh, sort of uh, comes out like flourishes in those moments it was super fun but uh, after we're done hooking up just Poppy uh, that was scene was really exciting in a lot of way you know how Poppy behaves or dominates or just tries to make us call her uh, highness and stuff 
and then when poppy going out she tells us like don't expect this to happen every time but we say well you are looking forward to it as it seems like and then she smirks so that's where that scene ends and the the, the second stretch and the main plot of the this chapter ends but i would say it was good to see poppy and zoe like in a hookup scene and professor was not here that was that's a pretty good thing i would say because everyone can get equal screen time what a lot of people were demanding a lot of people were wanting zoe so finally they get something with zoe people are demanding poppy same but i would say few things here first off hooking up with poppy it's good but if they really want something i would say rather than hooking up poppy shouldn't be just a hooker but if they're trying to push it that way poppy should be a love interest because just hooking up with an evil if we can change her and make her a prominent love interest that would be super awesome and same thing goes for zoe zoe is a prominent love interest so she should get more than just hooking up and um, just actual relationship how they approach it and how the chemistry works between them just like there is one between professor and our main character so if the sort of it can be three way three choices at the end we should be given so far but i would say some male options should have been there too like carter or at least because that would have added more choice for people who want to romance male characters but oh well there was a interesting chapter and then after, at the end we see someone's waiting with a letter it's from apoidia and we've been invited for something big next chapter is going to be probably another challenge from apoidia but subterfuge so maybe x is up to something and x doesn't doesn't like really doesn't think twice before getting there they're not afraid of getting their hands dirty so subterfuge something is going to be a sabotage or something is in line for the next chapter it'll be exciting to see in the next chapter but this chapter was kind of interesting the second stretch was about the you know poppy scene or zoe scene as a lot of people were expecting and the first part was of course as always taking one of the excess minions down let me know how you think about the chapter it was an interesting like the first half was just like the rest of the chapters like how it went we spot one of the poppy's minion and then we like there is a show like uh you know in most of the cases it was like really brutal but in this chapter that was not that brutal but oh uh, we take them down and then uh really like to like let things like to blow some steam off we get a hookup scene with either zoe or poppy and that's where it ends and there's going to be something big in the next chapter with the poetry performances we'll see what it is we don't know much of that but let me know in the comments how do you feel about this and how do you like the chapter i'll see you in the next video till then peace out